Hey, Carnival Celebration Cruisers, what is going on? Welcome to Coach Cruise. I'm your host, Brad, for those of you that are new to the channel. And anyway, for those of you that aren't, thanks for coming back once again, the Coach Cruiser family. Well, anyway, obviously today we are talking about the Carnival Celebration. And specifically, we're going to give you 10 tips to help you maximize your vacation on the Carnival Celebration. But before we get to that, let's hear from my cousin Cookie on why you should hit that subscribe and like button. Here we go. Oh, YouTubers, check me. This is Cookie, your cruise director on the Carnival Horizon down in Miami, Florida. Trust me, number one, you want to follow this man's channel, Coach Cruise, because he's the absolute best coach out here. Not about fitness, but about cruising. Trust <laughs> me, he's going to make sure you have the best time ever because he knows the ins and outs of every cruise that you go on. So click that like, follow button, and share more about this brother right here. Not only is he my coach, but he's my cousin. We'll see you all <laughs> on the next cruise. Until then, we're out of here. All Peace. right. Okay, so thank you, cousin. We all love Cookie, don't we? Love Cookie. He is an amazing, amazing man. Um, so anyway, let's get to the first tip for the Carnival Celebration. Okay, so how many of you out there love coffee? I love coffee. I love it a lot. I drink it every morning. You probably do too. So if you love coffee, then you know that Java Blue or whatever Carnival's coffee gourmet coffee uh shop is on the particular ship that you're going on is the place to go for coffee what you may not know is there are other places to get your coffee besides the java blue cafe on the carnival celebration this can save you a bucket load of time because in the morning when everybody and we're talking about six thousand plus passengers on the Carnival Celebration are lining up at the Java Blue Cafe to get their gourmet coffee, guess where you can be? You can be at Bar 820. You can be at the Havana Bar, just to name a couple. But those two places in particular have gourmet coffee, just like you'll find at the Java Blue Cafe. And it's the same price, everything. It's not an upcharge or anything like that. Um, and you could avoid the long, long lines. So take that as a good tip number one to get us started here on 10 tips that will help you maximize your cruise on the carnival celebration let's go on to tip number two okay so one of the really really cool things about cruising on an xl class ship especially if you're doing it for the first time is the roller coaster bolt <laughs> So if you're going on the Carnival Celebration and just for the novelty of it, even if you're not a huge roller coaster person, right? You have to ride a roller coaster on a cruise ship just to go back and tell all your friends, yeah, I did a roller coaster in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, that, that's normal. That's what we do. You know, you have to do that, right? So here's the thing. There have been many times when the Bolt roller coaster has been canceled or closed down due to weather or seas that are not, you know, quite perfect. And uh, as a result, people that had planned on doing the Bolt roller coaster got denied and they didn't get that opportunity. So some very wise and savvy cruisers have decided, you know what, we'll book two reservations that way, if one of them gets canceled, we'll still have a second reservation in the bank and we'll be hopefully good to go. And as a result of that, many savvy cruisers have still, even though maybe one of their uh, bolt reservations got canceled, the other one did not. And they had a great, great time, great experience, great memory on the bolt roller coaster. All right. So I'm going to be honest with you. I've been on a couple ropes courses on other Carnival ships and they're like, eh, 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 you know, they're, they're okay for kids. I'm sure they're cool and they're kind of scary and all that other stuff. 
But for adults, it's not much of an adrenaline rush. But I'll tell you what is an adrenaline rush, or potentially could be, that is the ropes course on the carnival celebration, or the XL class in general. Why? Because, well, you know, aside from being 18 stories above the ocean, you're hanging by a rope, okay, going across a platform in which there is no floor beneath you. No floor. You are going from one platform all the way over to the other platform with nothing but air beneath your feet, okay? Now, that's a slight adrenaline rush for me, especially since I'm slightly afraid of heights. So, you know, if that gives your senses a little bit like, oh, geez, you know, then the ropes course might also be for you. So I would suggest, you know, going on the ropes course. And that's another little adrenaline rush, another little fun thing that won't cost you anything and you'll have a great time doing it. So hit the ropes course on the Carnival Celebration. All right, let's get on to the next tip. All right, so you veteran cruisers of many carnival cruises, you know of at least two iconic carnival cruise free eat locations. And the two most iconic are Guy's Burgers and the Blue Iguana Cantina. So at Guy's Burgers, of course, you get as many juicy hamburgers and french fries as you want with all of the toppings and they are magnificent and oh did i say they are free and you can get as many as you want yes guys burgers okay and how about blue iguana cantina tacos anybody is there anybody in this on this earth that doesn't love tacos i don't think there is you can get all the tacos you want at blue iguana cantina you know they have come in varieties you want a fish taco sure you want a beef taco? Sure. You want a shrimp taco? Sure. You want a pork taco? Sure. <laughs> I mean, they just have tacos galore with all the toppings you could hope for. So the tacos are magnificent. The burritos are magnificent. You go there and they're free. As many as you can eat. As many as you can put in your belly. So that's an amazing thing, right? But here is the kicker. My favorite, my favorite, and many people's favorite is Shaq's Big Chicken. On the XL class, they're on every XL class ship and a couple of the smaller uh, Carnival class ships as well. But they have some of the most magnificent chicken sandwiches you will ever put in your mouth. And they're free. As many free Shaq's Big Chicken sandwiches as you can shove in your mouth are free. So be sure to take advantage of some of the free eats on the Carnival Celebration. What is the most talked about performance on the Carnival Celebration? Some of you probably already know, even if you're new to the Carnival Celebration, but that is the most magnificent circus. It is a incredible performance that is so sought after by cruisers that they have to perform multiple times the same show on the same cruise sometimes as many as five times in one single cruise. So this tip came from Cruise Director of the Year, two times, three times, I don't know. I, I lose track. He wins Cruise Director of the Year seemingly every year. So it's hard to keep track. But Lee Mason informed me personally when I was on, on one of my recent cruises on the Carnival Celebration, he said, Coach, he's like, don't go on the first night because everybody goes on the first night. Everybody's fighting for seats and, you know, arguing about seats and things like that. Stay back, stay back, let everybody fight for that first showing and show up the next night or the second or the third showing and just cruise right in, grab a seat, enjoy the show. You'll be much happier. And you know what? That was absolutely wonderful advice, okay? It is a most magnificent show, so you do want to see it but you don't have to kill yourself trying to get seats to that first or second showing. So that's a tip right there. Now to go along with that, they also have Celestial Strings, which might be Carnival's most iconic show of all time. If you've never seen Celestial Strings, you need to make a point to go see it. And that is only one night. So you need to make sure 
that you go and see that. Uh, you know, get there early, grab a drink, relax at your table while you wait for the show to start. Um, they usually have like some pre-show fun, things like that. So you'll enjoy your time. But if you've never seen Celestial Strange, you need, a point, uh, you need to make a point to do that. Now, here's one that I have yet to see. This will be my third time on the Carnival Celebration coming up on this cruise over Thanksgiving. And I have not seen Evolution. And I made this point to some of the Coach Cruise family. And they said, Coach, what is wrong with you? How could you not go see Evolution? It's amazing. And I honestly, I don't know. I don't have a proper response to that, but I'm so looking forward to going to see Evolution. I can't give you any critique or any recommendation for it because I haven't seen it myself. I can only go by the Coach Cruise family who've been on the celebration who've told me, you have to go see it, Evolution. So I'm going to go see that. And I will say this, um, I have seen Color My World in the theater, and that's an excellent show. And uh, I highly recommend that. So there is so much wonderful entertainment on the Carnival Celebration. Make sure you catch as much of it as humanly possible. And I don't think you'll be disappointed. Let's move on to the next tip. Any music fans out there? How about live music? Who doesn't love live music? To get right up in the front of live music, you know, wonderful performers that have so much talent just right in front of you, just performing for your pleasure. Um, they have the violin trio, of course. They have a live band at Guy's. They have a couple, you know, musicians that may be solo or may, they may play as a couple. Uh, and they, they, they move around and play in the different venues around the ship. Uh, the band typically plays at Guy's on deck eight in, in uh, the back of the ship. And they're just fabulous. The violin trio on every carnival ship is a fabulous opportunity to just enjoy some live music. And then there are, like I said, there are solo performers or couples that perform that do an absolute wonderful job. So make sure to catch some live music with a beverage of your choice or a snack, or it doesn't even have to have a beverage. Just enjoy the live music on board the carnival celebration. There's plenty of it to go around go around and I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Let's move on to the next step. All right. So as Coach Cruz, many of you who started following the channel started following because of our legendary bar crawls that we've hosted. And uh, let me tell you, we've enjoyed all the bars across the Carnival fleet. And let me tell you, on the Carnival Celebration, there are some wonderful bars. Let me just name a, sh a few. First, We'll start off with the most recognized bar in the Carnival Fleet. Carnival Fleet, that is the Alchemy Bar. I mean, the Alchemy Bar on any Carnival ship is just magnificent. But on the Carnival Celebration and the XL class in general, it's a very large bar. And they have a couple extra alchemists just to serve the thirsty population of the Carnival Celebration cruisers that visit every night and populate the bar and uh you know often two or three deep just to try to get a drink but you will have the same fun that you have on most carnival ships at the alchemy bar because the bartenders are as engaging and as amazing as ever on the carnival celebration so you will have a lot of fun there now next as far as bars go one bar i like to go to when the alchemy bar is just crazy crowded and it's difficult to get a drink, and the bartenders are so crazy busy that they don't even have time to barely say hello to you. I like to go down to Latitudes. Now, Latitudes will still be busy, but they have bars, I'm sorry, they have drinks from regions all around the world that it's a lot of fun to order off their menu because you can look in Brazil, or you can look in Japan, or you can look in Italy, and you can find a drink that is popular in that region which makes it kind of cool because it seems like you're kind of traveling around the world and that's the whole theme behind the latitudes bar so go check out latitudes another bar that some people overlook because it's outside and it's not a very large bar but just outside of guys in summer landing there's an outside bar called the water cooler one of their signature drinks 
is called a watermelon crush and it's a fabulous drink now it's a little sweet for my taste but if you're somebody like me that isn't crazy about drinks that are too too sweet you can ask the bartender to say hey can i get a watermelon crush but a little less sweet and they'll be like sure and they'll muddle you some watermelon they won't make it so sweet and it'll be fabulous so uh check that out and then finally guys no not finally we'll start with guys but guys just inside of where the water cooler is they have a wonderful selection of li liqueurs uh particularly bourbons i'm a bourbon fan so there are so many choices of bourbon uh you know blanton's fans out there uh eagle rare um colonel smith i mean they, they have so many different varieties of bourbons that are considered difficult to attain you know at your local liquor store and if you're somebody that's on the cheers package like me you can order any of them and it doesn't cost anything extra so check out guys okay formal night now some people really love formal night because they can get all formal they can get in the nice dress or in the nice suit and look super sharp or super beautiful and uh, just kind of walk by and turn a bunch of heads and you know get some great pictures and great memories to go along with it now other people look at formal night and they think lobster lobster free lobster even so if you go to the mdr on any carnival ship on formal night that's when you're going well at least the second formal night right that's when you're going to get the free lobster now on the carnival xl class you not only can get free lobster in the mdr but my favorite place to get free lobster is cucina cucina de capitano at no extra charge you can go to cucina and some people don't know this but instead of going to the mdr which can be very crowded and the waits can be very long you can book a reservation at cucina and get your lobster right there at no extra charge including all the italian fare and some other uh, uh dining options that will be on the menu for a formal night so take that tip and run with it and uh thank coach cruz let's go on to the next tip okay now tip number nine is the java cafe you might be saying to yourself wait the java cafe I, I i thought you said to avoid that and go get your coffee somewhere else i did i did say that now that's only when the line at the java cafe is long but there are many times when the line won't be long you know when it's the middle of the afternoon or late in the afternoon or early evening oftentimes there can be little or no line at all at the java cafe and you can get your coffee or your shakes or whatever you might be thirsty for there without much of a wait at all now the other thing the other reason you go to the java cafe in the mornings okay they have a separate line so you don't have to wait in the coffee line to get a free breakfast sandwich for example Yes, they have a wide variety of free breakfast sandwiches in the morning. So if you are getting ready or you're going into port that day and you just want a sandwich and let's say wrap it up in a napkin or something like that, stick it in your purse or a beach bag or something like that, you know, assuming that they're not going to yell at you for taking any food off the ship, then you can certainly do that. Um, or if you just want a quick breakfast sandwich because you're going to be getting off the ship soon and you eat that really quick, you can go there. And the amazing thing is it's free and there are some wonderful breakfast sandwiches. Now, later on, late in the afternoon and early evening, how about some free lunch type sandwiches? We're talking about roast beef sandwiches, Philly cheesesteaks, things like that, that they will toast in their little toaster oven, much like you would get done at Subway or Quiznos or, or someplace like that, right? Where pot bellies, where they do your subs and they toast them and get them all nice and crisp, the toast with the melted cheese and everything else like that. And the, the beauty of it all is it's free, okay? So if you want a couple different sandwiches or whatever and you want to take that back to your room, save for later, save save for that late night snack, do that. You know, it's, it, it's a wonderful tip and it's free. Some people see those sandwiches and they look so great and they think that they cost money, but they actually don't. Now, just to the left of those sandwiches, you'll see some scrumptious looking 
cupcakes and cookies and all that kind of stuff, those do cost money, unfortunately. But all the sandwiches in the morning and the afternoon or early evening, those are free. All right. So your final tip are the pools. And you might say, the pools? Well, yeah, I know where the main pool is. Okay. And to be honest, for so many people, the main pool doesn't blow me away. Now, the main pool is much larger than some of your standard pools on other carnival ships. But here's the thing. There are a variety and a host of different pools, particularly if you're an adult. But let's start down, all the way down on Deck 8 at Summer Landing. There is a very generous sized pool on Deck 8 outside of Guy's Brew House Smokehouse. It has a large pool, and just off to the side, there are two very nice sized hot tubs as well. In addition to a bar, both outside and inside. So that is a great place to go to if, you know, you would like to get wet and have a drink. And welcome Zoe, everybody. Um, now, another great pool is if you go all the way up to deck 616 on the Lido deck, that is the Tides Pool. And uh, that's also a very nice pool at the back of the ship. But one of adults' most favorite pool is the Serenity Deck Pool. Now, it's not a super large pool or anything, but here's the kicker. It's for adults 21 and over. So you're not going to have the little kids doing snorkeling and diving and jumping into the pool, you know, and, and kicking water in your face and things like that. So that's why some people are so in love with the Serenity Deck Pool is because you can go and get some adult conversation and some adult silliness and things like that. So if you are one of those people, enjoy the Serenity Deck Pool or the Tides Pool or the... Uh, summer landing pool on the back uh, deck eight of course the main pool um, on deck 16 is available as well so those are all the tips i have for you i hope some of those tips come into handy or at least you didn't think about them and you're going to go on to the celebration and say oh yeah that was a good tip so you know out of 10 tips if three of them paid off for you it was a valuable video for you and if it was i would so much appreciate if you hit that like button and the subscribe button would be a double bonus, an even better bonus. And uh, welcome to the Coach, K Cro Coach Cruz family, if in fact you did hit that subscribe button. And have a magnificent cruise. I hope you have a cruise that even surpasses mine, because I know I'm going to have an amazing cruise. Um, and I hope you will too. So we'll see you soon. And hopefully I'll see you on the celebration. Take care, everybody do such an awesome job. Oh, sure. Um, and secondly, and this one is huge, like and subscribe. <laughs> Ring that notification bell so you know when this man is posting more videos. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> that you so much. You're welcome. Thank man. you, Lee. I just can't get away from a good time.